Welcome to my channel. If you like my videos, then kindly subscribe, like, and watch. Thank you. Welcome back. Problem ten point one. The statement of problem is that knowing that spring A is of constant k and that bar A B is rigid, determine the critical critical load P R. So you can see the figure. There is a rigid bar A B that is pin supported at point B and it is connected with a spring having constant k. And we have been asked to find the critical load. So. Uh, Let's start with the given data. So, in given data, it is given that uh, the bar A B is rigid bar. Bar A B is rigid bar, and spring having constant K. We have to find the critical load that is PCR, and you know that critical load is the maximum load at which this system is uh, straight, clear. And uh, our required load should be less than critical. If it is uh, exceeded, then the system will be not stable. So let's start with the solution. So as you know that due to this load, this rigid bar may tend to uh, uh, to move in this direction or in this direction so and there is a spring force which tends which acts a force of kx in this direction because if it moves in this direction so the spring force will be like this but due to reaction the spring will uh, react or act the force in this direction so we will draw the free body free body diagram so from free body diagram let uh, due to this load p this uh, uh, this is point for example point b so due to this load the angle that will be formed by this rigid rod ab will be like this so I will draw it. So this is a rigid rod. This is your point A now, and this is load P. Due to this spring, there will be a force that will act in this direction. Clear, and this force is let this force is denoted as L. Now you can see that due to this force the the rigid bar will either move in this direction or in this direction but I have taken over in right direction so there will be a small change in angle so let if the x if this is the vertical axis clear so this is the uh, the angle that is made by the rigid rod with point P clear so theta is the small angle change of bar theta is small angle change of bar AB now you can see uh, this force which is due to the spring and this force will be equal to F into KX and this x is this distance from this original point from this point to this point this distance is x clear and this x will be equal to if this is the theta angle this is the total length of the bar rigid bar clear this is total length of the rigid bar and this is l so from our trigonometric ratio we can find this x and this x will be equal to if you take sine of theta so this sine of theta will be equal to x over l and from here we can get x is equal to l into sine of 
theta. So now you have x value you can put it in this. So you have this spring force which will be equal to k into L sine of theta. So this is the value of force. Uh, uh, now you can see that uh, due to this load and uh, there is a also a load at point B due to reaction where I will also mention it. So you can see due to this load there will be a movement and this movement will be equal to P into X and due to this force there will be a movement about point B which is F into this perpendicular distance and this distance is this distance will be equal to L cos of theta. How? Because when you take cos of theta it will be equal to base over hypotenuse so base will be equal to L into cos of theta ok so we will apply in order to keep this system in equilibrium the moment due produced due to this load which is dis, uh, uh, destabilizing moment that should be equal to this restoring moment due to this spring so either you can take them equal or you can also apply the sum of all moment about point B must be equal to 0. Why point B? Because you can see that at point B uh, this force is producing movement and this F is producing movement. So let's apply. So you can see at point B the force that is producing movement is P into perpendicular distance is X and it is producing clockwise so it will be minus P into X. The second movement that is produced about point B is F and this uh, is equal to F into perpendicular distance is L cos of theta and it is producing counterclockwise so it will be positive. So F into perpendicular distance is L cos of theta. Their sum must be equal to 0. Now you can put the value of X so it will be minus P and x is equal to L sine of theta so it minus P L sine of theta plus F is equal to K L sine of theta so K L sine of theta into L cos of theta that is equal to 0 so it will be minus P L sine of theta plus K L square sine of theta into cos of theta. So this theta is very small angle. So for when theta is very very small. So we have studied that this sine theta will be equal to theta. And cos of theta is equal to 1. Because when theta is very very small our approaches to 0 so cos of 0 is approximately 1 and sine of theta is equal to theta. So when you put the value over here so we will get minus P L theta plus K L square. This will be theta and this will be 1 so theta is equal to 0. And we will get P L theta is equal to K L square theta. So P will be equal to K L square theta over L theta. So it means this load which is also known as critical load because uh, at this load the system will be balanced and this is the maximum load that can be applied on this system or uh, for uh, on this system. So L L will cancel, theta theta will be cancel, and we will only left with this K into L. So this is the value of critical load that can be applied on this system. This P is equal to K into L. This is a very simple problem and I hope you have now a clear understanding about it. Thank you.